Hey, 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 this is Rose RCG Creations. How are you doing? Bringing to you a card creation today. This is a swap that I am in. And let me get some of this stuff out of the way here so I can have room to work with. Oops, I'm moving my table all the way around. Okay, I'm hoping my lighting works out good on this and everybody's be seen in through here. I was mailed a swap from a face group that I'm in and the object of this one is someone gives you something and you create something out of it then you post it on the Facebook page and everybody gets to see what your creations are so I was sent let me just move these out of the way we had to bring our own card base but this is what I was mailed I was mailed two little ornaments there's a little hole punched in here a little square double-sided Christmas theme and this ribbon and here's another double-sided Christmas theme and this little set of little silver blue dots but I'm going to go ahead and add these little whoops tiny breads for my little Christmas ornaments and I'm going to go a little bit different by putting it on the gray card there's my card front Actually, this is my card base, sorry. And then these are some little green and red little leaves. These are uh, maple leaves, the big one. And these other ones, I don't know what you call them. <laughs> so, I've already got kind of a ballpark idea of what I want to do. But what I'm going to think I want to do here is I'm going to put this in the center because there's not a whole big piece. But I'm thinking of laying the Christmas, because it's a Christmas theme from what I gather here. I don't want to do too much red, but I'm going to go ahead and offset And I want to offset it. I want to do this on purpose, because I'm going to go ahead and offset my little ornaments on the card base here. And then back it up with a, uh, so I'm going to punch a hole in here. It's already pre-cut, so I don't have to do anything. Just going to punch the hole through here. Uh, you know what, I think these breads are going to be too little. Yeah, but I don't want to get them really big because I don't want to. You know what, when I put this back down, I'm going to go ahead and just glue this on the back. I'm actually going to tape it on there. Because I don't want my bread to be too big I could do some ribbon but I don't really want to do that I'm just gonna go ahead and poke a hole I need a, my, here it is right here I have a one right next to me this is my um, what do you call this we are oh, it's a laser square you turn it on the little laser cuts or come on with the grid mark so you can line everything up straight but I pretty much eyeball it but I do use it a lot of times when I'm doing my lettering but next to me I have a self-healing mat, so I'm just going to punch a hole in the center of that and use my mat as a backup, so that way I can punch the hole there. Let me do the other one. Okay, come on. It's fighting with me. Okay, there's my little hole. I'm a little bit off-center, but that's okay. So I've just punched the hole on each one of these, and I'm going to put my little bread through that, but I'm going to open it up. But actually, you know what, I don't want to close this down yet, I'm going to step, I'm sorry, I apologize. I want to attach this to my card base, so it's kind of like dangling with a little message right here on each one of those. So. I am going to kind of line this up, put this in the bottom here, line this one up to here, and line this one up to there. I don't really want to cover that little ornament. This one's really kind of a stumper for me because it's like, I got some stuff that I can work with, but it's making me really think out of the box because I need to add more stuff to it, but I don't want, you're only allowed to add three or four different things, so... Me measure this. I'm just eyeballing it. For those who are really technical, measure it and use your measurements or use like your laser cutter, but I don't need to do that. I kind of pretty much eyeball it when I'm doing something like this. 
Now I'm just trying to punch my hole in here. So both of the little breads. Oh, come on. These little things are tiny. They're hard to work with. But they're pretty when they get put together. Okay, so that went through. Now I'm just going to open it. Press it down. And then now you see the little bread, but see how it's kind of tight? So I want to loosen this up because you don't want to make this too tight. But you still want it open, but not too tight. And see how now it's really loose and it moves around now? Okay, then on this other one, I'm going to put right... I think I'm going to put it right next to that one. But I'm going to angle this a little bit, I think. I'm going to angle that. And I'm going to just kind of punch a hole right through the same hole that I already had from that that I made earlier. There's my little bread. And this time I'm not going to open it because when you open it, it's hard to stay shut. Like, see how tight it is? And see how close that tightness is? Because once you've opened it, that's it. Okay. And I like to push this down for extra measure so I have a good grip. Okay, come on. So now I've separated it. I'm going to fold it, but I'm not going to do it really tight because I want it to have a loose fit. There we go. See? And so now we have the little Christmas ornaments that actually move side to side, which is what I wanted. Okay, so let me get my ATG gun. Let's put the rest of this on here. First, I'm going to do my ribbon. And this ribbon doesn't really matter what side it's on. And I'm going to use my double-sided adhesive for the simple fact is once it goes on, I don't want it to be seen from the other side. So when you're using wet glue, sometimes you uh, be able to see through it because it, depending on how good the wet glue is or what type you use, if it's going to show through or not. So I'm just going to use my ATG gun. Okay, and then I'm going to take out my little extra pieces there behind it and because I know it's right in the dead center I'm just going to place it here on the dead center and that places it down let me grab my scissors because I need to trim I need to trim that little piece right here of that was on the ribbon and you get that those, the little frayed edges that's just part of ribbon Okay, and I'm actually going to use my pokey tool. I'm a, I don't want that ribbon showing through there, so I'm going to put it down underneath there. See how you just hit it? I just hit the ribbon that was loose there. I don't have to worry about this because this is going to be covered up with this decorative ribbon right here, and I'm not going to put a whole bunch of it uh, adhesive tape on here. So I'm just going to do the four sides, just because I don't want it to buckle up, because I'm probably going to be mailing my Christmas cards. I'm going to do some handouts, but most of them are going to be mailed out. And I definitely want it to be underneath the Christmas ornaments, so let me just move them out of my way. And so I can work. This is the one good thing when you do want working with brads. I do want to leave myself a little bit of a border of the card front. Now, I could have done this and made it two layers, but I don't want to do it two layer because I'm going to try to get all my Christmas cards out with just one postage stamp, not an extra. Uh, I'm trying to be frugal. <laughs> Those of you who know me, I'm frugal. Because I, I do have, I do want to send out a bunch of Christmas cards this year. I didn't send that many out last year because I just was not feeling very well. Too many medical issues. Okay, so let's put this down in here, but I want to angle that a little bit higher than the other one. I just want to offset it. I like to offset stuff. I don't like to... Sometimes I like to do it very symmetrical. Sometimes I don't, so... Just depends on what I want to do. Now, for the backing of these breads... Whoa, what was that? I just dropped... What did I drop? Let me get my... A little green leaf come a flying. <laughs> okay. 
So let's see, I'm going to angle these this way, and I'm going to angle this one this way, and I'm going to use these little leaves, which is why I got them, to help me cover up the little brads on the inside of the message. Now this I do know I have to have double sided tape, so let me get, where's my phone? Here's my phone tape. And I'm going to cut this to size. Sorry, I need to put my readers back on so I can see what I'm doing. Because when I'm working with delicate stuff, I need to see up close. Okay, that's a little bitty. That's a little leaf. I think I may need to get another leaf. And to, let's see how much I can work with on this one. And you don't want to see the glue on the other side, so I think I'll cover that up so that, that don't happen. And then I'm going to put it right underneath the bread because I'm basically just hiding the bread. Okay, good. That's on there. So you see, that kind of hit the bread a little bit. It's still a little bit visible, but I'm okay with that. Let me do my little leaf. I'm going to put two little leaves on this one. Just because I want to offset it a little bit. And that's why I cut it really thin. Whoops. Working with these little items are a little tough. But they're, they're workable. Just have to give yourself a little bit more patience. Okay, so... Where did I put, where did my adhesive go? I lost the part that had the adhesive on it. Oops. It's so tiny I can't feel it. Okay, there it is. Now I'm just going to line this up right in here. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other leaf. I don't need a really big piece. I just need a small piece. Let me take my adhesive off of that one. I'm going to make this one a different color. And I'm just going to line it up right on the leaf itself. See how you don't see it? I hope you can see that. You don't see it. And then let me just... I'm going to angle this one. Okay, and there we go. You can see that a little bit on the center of the bread, but that's okay because I'm just basically taking away from the focal point that there's a bread there. And I'm just going to move this over just a tad. There we go. See that? I just moved it over a little bit, which because with this double sided foam, because of the thickness, you have a little bit of maneuverability with it. Okay, so that takes care of that one. Oh. Sometimes you get paper that has a default in it. It's just nothing you can do. It, it is what it is. I think it's part of the manufacturing portion. This one I'm saving because I probably will need it, but I don't know yet. Let's move that out of the way. And then let's get our big leaf. What's nice about these metal leaves, I don't know if they're aluminum or metal, but you see on the side of it, see how shiny that is right there? And on the back side, you can really see the veining. So that really makes it pretty there. So depending on, oops, I dropped it again. So depending on your look, I kind of really like the veining part really a lot. I'm going to put that. <gasps> Did I just do this upside down? Oh, no I didn't. No I didn't. Actually, yes I did because I forgot that was the top of the card. But that's okay because I'm going to put my message right in here anyway. So let's just go ahead and make... Let's just turn this upside down because in, in Mother Nature, leaves are always off-centered anyway. And I'm just going to offset this over here. And I'm going to use that little extra piece of foam that I already had cut. Because I don't want a whole lot. I just want enough to stick to the leaf to stick to the card. And because I want to stay with my theme of that, 
to offset it, I'm just going to put this over to the side. Actually, I mean, you know what? I'm going to put this right over here. And then I'll be able to have room here for my message. And I've got these little um, pre already pre-cut die cuts. I got them. I don't know where I got them. They're in a big old box. I think it was like at one of the uh, local stores like Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Joanne's. But they've already, they're have already they already in a package. They're chipboard and you cut them out. They're actually they're already pre-cut. But you've got different messages on it. And this is the one that says mom to go. But there are different messages. So when the cat's away, the mice will play. And then close but no cigar. It's just different messages like that. So I'm going to pause you. I'm going to come back, find a message, and then we'll be able to finish the card. Okay, we're back. I'm adding some little snowflake embellishments that I have. I got some in blue and white. And I, you know me, I'm a firm believer. You use what you have. Don't feel like you have to go out and buy stuff because you don't really necessarily have to. And I'm just adding them at random. Just to give myself a little different effect, a different look. And I think I'm just going to add one more just for giggles here. And let's put this right here in the center. So that's my front of my card. I don't really think I need a message or anything because the, the, what is this, what is this called? Holly? Holly? Yeah, the holly and the cranberries. And then the winter scene already tells you, you know, it's, and then you could tell these are Christmas ornaments and stuff. But see how the little brads really picked it out? That little stand out. And of course you could still move them. In fact, I'm hoping they're, yeah, I think they're dry. dry. So you can move them around. And on the inside is my little fall leaves, but because I want the inside to resemble and go be cohesive and look good as a front, I'm going to add some of my little snowflakes to the front, to the, excuse me, the inside card front where the message is at. And I'll show you in just a second the message that I picked out. And I'm just putting these all at random. just to have random thoughts. Let me put this right here on the message. Move it over so you can still read it. And then let me do the blue one. Let me do another one because I like to offset it in a sequence of threes. Let's do that there. And let's do another white one. I'm actually doing extra because I'm going to be honest with you. <clears throat> I've only got one more left that's in here because there's two. These are too many to fit in here. Because I want to get myself that empty that little slot so I can put something else in there. So let's go here on that one. You know what? Let me do a blue one just to offset that because that doesn't look too good to me. And then I am going to put one up here just to offset that. And let's do the white one. This is what's really fun about doing cards like this. It makes you get out of your comfort zone. You're creating something that looks like, oh, I would never have put any of these pieces together. Somebody else did. So it makes you get out, of, bring out your creative juices and see what you come up with. So let's come up with this little guy right over here. So we're going to have a lot of the snowflakes falling right there. And I'm happy with that. Let me close this up because I tend to be a little bit of a klutz. So and it's like, oh, then I just got to have a big mess all over the place. So that's my little snow fix. And I got one little empty tray. So if I get any more embellishments, I can stick them in there and we're good to go. Okay. So now that is my completed card. And so that's the front. And I've used every little piece that, was, that came in the little swap. And then that's the inside with my message. I thank you so very much for watching. We catch you in the next video. Take care. Goodbye. Don't forget to hit like, comment, and share. Have a good one. Bye-bye.